Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? Divine Mass, or Feminine, sorry, oh my gosh, uh, how are you doing today? So this is going to be a yin reading from April the 2nd until the 11th, hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do a split elemental and I'm just going to continue to pull the cards until all the positions are filled. These are of course my my card, so if you wanted to order, you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. All right, so first card is the Vibe Tribe, Three of Cups. Feeling connected, feeling supported, celebrating love. The Queen of Fire for the spiritual. Um, this card showed up as well in the Twin Flame reading. So this is what she wanted, um, is to be that light, to feel powerful, to attract love into her life. Um, but also being a spiritual leader and just not giving any fucks. So the ego is in the 3D reality. So this could be a codependent relationship, an addiction, something chaining her. Firm foundation, the philosopher. So the alchemist for the mental state, which is um, the, the self-conscious mind. Moving on. The yin. Very nice. This was a final outcome card. A twin flame reading. The lover's card. Mother Earth. Mourning and loss. Five of Wands, Independence, Calmer Waters, Oop, that goes over here, the Heart Chakra, the Ice King that also showed up in the Heart Space, Father Earth, Reunion, holy moly. The Two of Pentacles, the High Priest, Priestess, Perspective Shift, holy cow, this is a big reading, Closed Off, Base Chakra, the High Priest is, High Priest, yeah. Justice card. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the entire deck. Nirvana. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. That showed up twice in the Twin Flame reading. The Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups. Oh, you know what, I actually, what am I doing? I pulled all the cards already. I'm spazzed. Okay, so at the soul... <laughs> okay, for some reason, Spirit wanted me to keep going, right? Even though I filled all the positions, it wanted me to keep going. So I'm going to go with that. All right. So I think it should have ended after the Queen, but that's fine. We got a big ass message here, so let's get started. Okay, so the nine of, or sorry, the ego. So this is a codependent relationship and addiction, self limiting belief, something holding you back, a chain. So in the physical, the feminine um, feels unsafe. There may be financial things kind of creeping up. She's trying to hold things together. Um, then we got the philosopher, which is somebody who completely disconnects from the 3D reality, goes on a spiritual journey, a quest to find themselves, 
Um, and so the 3D reality doesn't hold any value for them, right? So it's like she's walking away from something that may have given her some type of security, but ultimately it was a chain. And she moves into the yin, beautiful. Um, so very loving, very giving, very receptive energy. Um, you know, and this, this is also a card of manifestation. And, you know, since she moved into that energy, she, there's abundance coming into her life. She feels grounded, supported, independent, um, successful. Again, a sense of self-love and, you know, treating herself um, to the pleasures of the world. And then she's also got the two of pentacles, which is change. So I do see a shift, you know, her walking away from something, uh, pursuing something that gives her a sense of, you know, success, confidence, stability, and... Oh, I missed out on the uh, the King of Pentacles. Was that in that position or did it sneak in from this side? But either way, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles with independence in the middle. So there's this bond here, this sense of working together, but um, independently. So a change comes in. Um, stirs things up, but she's standing on this firm foundation, very grounded. Uh, somebody may be resistant to the change, closing themselves off, but ultimately we, we get the High Priest and then the Nirvana card, which is this major completion, the end of the Fool's Journey, um, enlightenment, illumination. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> sorry. Um, the overall message for the Twin Flame reading was spiritual perfection, and we can see that, you know, detaching herself from the 3D reality, loving herself, um, treating herself, uh, not being affected by ignorance uh, or people who are being petty, and stepping into this illuminated state, all-knowing, you know, crown chakra activated and being this powerful spiritual leader. So she's definitely moving into spiritual perfection in the 3D. So in the spiritual perfection, it's kind of um, repeated over on the spiritual side. So she is the queen of no fucks given, even though those are challenges and obstacles people are you know, standing in her way, she's like, whatever, you know, I, I'm not being triggered. Um, I know I have the confidence and the power, uh, the courage to overcome these obstacles. All right, next biggie, let's deal with this one next. Oops. Ugh. Okay, so the first card out was the Three of Cups. Okay, so this is having a vibe tribe, having um, friends around you, supporting you, celebrating life. Okay, so with the support of friends, uh, family possible, possibly, she made a decision to walk away from something that was emotionally manipulating her, which was the, the ego down there. Um, there is pain in her heart, a feeling of loss, of lack. But then we got the Six of Cups, which is reunion. So con reconnecting, healing. The overall energy for the Twin Flame reading was healing. Okay. And so from that point of release and, you know, reminiscing about memories of the past, um, you know, friendships and the twin flame connection. She moves into this high priestess, um, which is, you know, the subconscious mind, um, you know, really diving into your emotions, seeing where conditioning occurred, and ultimately surrendering also with the hangman, 
letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective. There's a definite desire to reconnect here, um, to reunite, but there's a sense of loss, which she ultimately surrenders into. So this is unconditional love. This showed up twice in the Twin Flame reading. Oh, I missed out on the King of Cups there. So she finds that emotional balance as the King of Cups. The masculine also got that in the Yang reading. Um, and she has that love in her heart, gives love freely, unconditionally. And as a result of that, we see the Nine of Cups there, which is dreams fulfilled, feeling that completion, that love in her heart, um, and being surrounded by friends and family. So there's a small cycle of needing to let go of something, feeling alone, but ultimately regaining balance and, um, you know, reaching this euphoric state. Uh, and then we got the Seven of Cups, which is follow your heart. Um, so there's a sense that, you know, there's a bit of confusion towards the end there, but ultimately whatever triggers there were are resolved. Um, so the chakra cards are the heart chakra and the base chakra, okay? So in 3D reality, she walks away from a negative situation and that could make her feel unsafe, secure, but she pulls all that back in, no problem. She finds that security within herself, and not only that, she shines. Uh, and then she also had the heart chakra, which is true love, right? There's so much love here. Um, you can see it up here as well. And then, of course, the soul is the 1111 card. She also got this in the twin flame reading in the past position. So there is, she's being tested, but ultimately she knows um, who her twin flame is and holds that love in her heart for the masculine. So in the mental space, we have the alchemist, the lover's card, the seven of swords, or yeah, sorry, the six of swords, the king of swords, and then the karmic justice card. So the alchemist is... Um, the will, um, focusing its attention on manifesting a new beginning. So we see her connecting to the source, to the ethereal with the 1111 card, um, wanting to create or attract this twin flame connection into her life. Um, but ultimately, again, walking away from mental noise, cutting through the clutter and the confusion with the King of Swords and uh, finding resolution with the Karmic Justice. The, the Karmic Justice card also showed up in the Twin Flame reading. So there is a desire to manifest this connection in her life, the passion, um, you know, but it requires her to, to let go <clears throat> of some mental and emotional noise here, uh, a chain, and she does so as the King of Swords and the Justice card clears up any negative energy and brings that peace to her. There's resolution. Whew. Okay, so what is the final message from the universe? Whoa, okay. So... This could be the one flipped up, and there's also a card on the ground. Let me grab that. So I'm only going to read one, though, um, which is, this could be the one. And then we got separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon, as well as codependency addictions, and uh, are affecting your romantic love life. Okay, so we see that codependency over here. Um, we also saw a separation, letting go of your... X in the twin flame reading. So what I'm seeing with this is the feminine finding her independence, her freedom, um, possibly even closing off to um, some vampires, like, you know, energy vampires, and moving into the state of nirvana. And uh, so 
but she's questioning is he the one or isn't he you know she she also doesn't want to be caught in a, another karmic partnership but ultimately she knows what her heart is saying it's that this is true love all right You are, you already met the romantic partner you see. Okay, yeah, that's clarifying. I know who my twin flame is. I know what my heart tells me. <clears throat> there is a desire to reconnect, but, um, you know, it, it, it's hurting her. The separation is hurting her. So this card signals that you've already met the person you romantically see. Perhaps you've, <clears throat> hold on. Uh, you've already met the person you romantically see. Perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her. The romance angels sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person in the relationship. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look like or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as, you go, as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partners, either in your present relationship or the future one. And that could be why the high priestess and the hangman show up. It's like this clarity going within, right? Um, you know, and then realizing who that is. So during sleep, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clear sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called based on your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you towards the one you desire okay and that's probably why the seven of cups showed up it's like follow your heart um and trust that you are being guided to this nirvana to this you know 11 11 connection all right so i do hope this helps uh, please comment guys i love your comments it lets me know if i'm on the right track and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share all right cheers peace